You know, there's something about products made for military use that I find incredibly attractive. Especially if their design incorporates modern polymers combined with rugged black phosphate treated steel. This is the Glock. No, this is a Glock. Uh, FM 78 or Feldmesser of 1978. It features a 1095 high carbon spring steel blade uh, that's made of the same type of steel that they use for the K-Bar fighting knives. Although 1095 steel is not stainless, uh, it will rust if not maintained. It has the benefit of being incredibly resistant to chipping and breaking. And since one of the primary design features required by the Austrian army was that the knife be suitable for throwing, it had to be constructed for materials that could withstand that kind of abuse. The injection molded material that makes up the handle and the sheath for the Glock field knife is Glock's own proprietary high strength low weight nylon based polymer of the same material used in all their products such as Glock pistol receivers and entrenching tool handles. The Feldmesser 81 is the same as the 78 except that it has the additional feature of a root saw for using the blade as a trenching tool cutting roots as you go. Because the Geneva Convention restricts use of serrated blades on knives and bayonets, the FM-81 is not used by military forces. The Austrian combat knife is the Feldmesser 78 in olive drab green, which is one of the three color options including black and sand. Most people, including myself, seem to prefer the straight back 78 over the 81 because you can get your hands on the back side of the blade without the constant risk of cutting yourself on those serrations. The feather weight polymer sheath is a very cool design because it was clearly well thought out. The locking clips allow you to attach or remove the sheath from a belt or accessory webbing instantly and effortlessly. This clip can be opened in a variety of ways but I find the easiest is to just lift one corner with my thumb as I retract the handle. It has a drain hole in the tip along with a location for adding an optional lanyard. The knife handle also has a lanyard hole but to use it you first have to remove the plastic cap that fills the steel tube in the base. The size and the location of this steel tube is what gives the Glock field knife its perfect balance for throwing. It also is designed to be used as a receiver for a sharpened stick, giving the knife the ability to be used as a spear without having to use lashings to keep it attached. All you need is a single nail as part of your kit, and you can drive it in with a rock. These Glock knives are very inexpensive, and that's what really makes them fun to own. You can get as abusive as you want with them, because they just gain more character. For me, these Glock knives have been a replacement for a small camp axe because I find it safer and easier to control just by placing the blade on the edge of a log and striking it with a heavy stick. At just under one inch in width, the blade works great for sharpening sticks or making things like triggers for snares and deadfall traps. Of 
course, no Glock field knife would be complete without mentioning the fact that the cross guard doubles as a bottle opener. But I also use that bottle opener as my aiming sight when throwing the Glock knife, which is my favorite use for it. So, pick out your favorite color, or collect all three, but get yourself a Glock knife. They're a lot of fun. You can find them online for uh, discount prices, too. They're uh, great utility blades that you'll find very useful, and they're a lot of fun to throw. Thanks a lot for watching.